Hey, what's up guys? Um, Nick White here. I uh, didn't expect to be able to even do this many problems, but I'm going to do like three more because like 10 is enough for a day. I'll do 10 more tomorrow if they're this easy, but we're doing SQL. We're doing HackerRank. SQL is a query database communication language. It's older kind of. Um, you definitely want to know it. Relational database concepts. SQL is how you communicate with the database. It's a language. Query a list of city and state. We've been doing a bunch of them, so I'd watch them in order because um, this one's getting pretty advanced. We got two fields we're querying from. Query a list of city and state from station table. Whoa. Uh, the station table is described as followed. Um, city. It has city and state, so we'll do select city, comma, state from... What is it called? Station? Yeah, I think it's comma. Uh, you don't do and. I think you do comma. There you go. We got it right. So there you go. Um, we got city and state. So just remember, I don't. I think if we do and, it won't work. So select city and, and state from station. Yeah, so that doesn't work. So just know that when you're dealing with fields, you can do comma. So you have to do comma. So we'll... we'll if we want a list of fields, we'll do select city and state from station. But when you have, um, you know, conditions like where, um, you know, ID is equal to one and you can use and and con the conditional part at the end. And then you could do where ID is equal to one and, you know, um, city is equal to whatever Buffalo or whatever, you know, whatever you want. But, um, this is where you use and, this is where you use a comma. So there's the takeaway. That's multiple fields for you. That was Weather Observation Station 1. Uh, please subscribe and like and whatever. Thank you for watching. On to Weather Observation 2 and then 3 probably. So, all right, see you guys next time.